With Vue, you can access to a wide variety of different materials. So if we open, we can see we have simple materials that I looked before, two-sided materials that work very well for the plants, and we'll look on this briefly in the next. We have mixed materials, group materials. We did look on an ecosystem, but let's look on a volumetric material. Volumetric material is quite a bit complex material. It is allowed to calculate between particles and light distribution and specific area where we apply our materials. Look right now, you can even see from preview the density is changing based on the light's penetration on this. So let's look on some properties. You notice when we select volumetric materials, we have a color density, which is applied density of product right now, density of the how far it's penetrating of this material. We have a filter function. We have it also volumetric set settings, which is have it our color. Let's go change this to the red so we can preview. Okay. We also have it overall density of the object, positions of the object, quality. And we can also enable if we want to use a distance field. So you can see right here if it's distance low. So it's create a little bit more natural distribution. Volumetric material is very nice to create a clouds and some other options as well. You can have a different type of materials included hyper texture, which is not necessarily will look as a volumetric, but it's allowed you to create a very interesting type of materials. So let's go back to our form and original. So you notice right here, we'll look already, we have a volumetric color. We have an overall density how much we want for the our object to be dense. Okay. We have a quality boost. Again, quality will affect this grainy that is rendered. The better quality, the less grain, but longer time to render. And also we have a fill depth. And fill depth, we kind of can see how much it will apply it over the but more result will be affected when we start using hyper texture. So you can look on that. The density production it will um, also affect overall density based on a function. So we can preload it already created, or we can create our own if we need it. So this is um, on a color tab. And as we're going to switch back to different models, we'll probably go switch back and forward to look on that. So in our lighting and effects, we have a different type of lighting. By notice, by default, it says uniform. And as a uniform, we have all these options is disabled for us. Let's go next is shaded. So shaded its next um, type of the volumetric materials, which is provide better depth and it's creating shadow between particles. So it is better when you have a different kind of density or objects. But right here, we also have a diffuse ambient light. So let me actually switch this to the white. In this case, we can see much better some effects. So again, see that it's a cube, so it's way outside, but it does allow me to affect diffuse light, ambient light, and if I want also, I can in, even set up luminosity to this, so it can kind of like produce lights almost, okay. As well as we have it intensity in Spain. Spain. We have it also global transformation, similar like on other materials where we can have it turbulence, rotation, cycling to randomize more on this function as we're using, as well as origin and velocity. So we have it shade, we have it additive, which is start kind of glowing. We need increase quite a bit density for this to be visible. Okay, let me reset the function. Okay. The next we also have it volume shaded. Okay, and you can see this add a little bit more um, to our visibility. And again, this is different type of the, most of them will probably use it or shaded or volume shaded because it will produce the better result for our volumetric material we want to use. Hyper texture, however, is different type of animal. It is allowed, you can see like total non-transparency, no volumetric, but it is work somewhat as well maybe it will create a different type of shapes so as an example let's go to preload function we'll just select for example this one 
and you can see how it's already start affecting it's not yet displacement but it is affecting shape of ours so I will go to increase depth okay so right here you can see and maybe you know let's put it a little bit function scale even lower so we can preview you can see how it's modified now our object again we can increase and with the hyper texture you can apply nice effect to your rocks again based with the, or your terrains based on your density production we will notice right here we also have an additional um, tab called hyper texture material so this way we can modify texture that's apply on a hyper texture so let's go ahead open and we can select some material okay and you notice right here we actually applied material because it's not volumetric anymore to our hyper texture material okay so this is just overview let's do this way we're going to um, select cube let's delete our cube we take our group right here for example I created of the spheres let's take our main camera look up and as selected all group we'll go inside the editor and we'll switch this to volumetric material notice how it's changed right now it's creating almost like a cloud okay now we'll go switch this to the shaded okay it's greatly bit nice effect you can see how it's start casting shadows we can work to add if which is almost disappeared slightly we need pop up quite a bit on a density and volume shaded so in this case I think volume shaded will apply a little bit better next is we we'll create clouds we go color and density and we can just preload it some density already created so this is will help create this kind of inconsistency in density okay we'll pop up fastness up okay let's use a distant field for this as well I'll just want to modify and see how it's well applied actually I like without a little bit better because right here see how we have this turbulence kind of applied more real we can pop up just slightly quality so less grainies okay and maybe take it down slightly density a little bit more and fuzzy okay now we can go in lighting tabs you will leave it this as default increase turbulence rotation and cycling so it will give it us more random effect and let's go inside the volumetric color notice right now we have this option enable when we switch to volume shaded this has allowed us to produce different coloring to volume as it's going through so if we're going inside and preload it um, our color okay we can do this to the overall color let's set a little bit bluish kind of this water and we can also go ahead and preload it function for the color production as well okay you can see already we have a very nice cloud of course when we work with the group we want to take some of these elements maybe stretch them place them kind of more interlinked together creating a little bit more cloudy look okay and right here another one So you can see with volumetric materials very fast we created this nice looking cloud and you can apply it so you can use it for this you can use it for smoke or other effects if you need it but overall um, volumetric materials you probably use it quite a bit inside the view when you work and not just uh, for the clouds if you switch how I said before to the hyper texture you can switch and create it nice um, effect for the rocks or a terrains.